Okay, in this video for anatomy and physiology, we're going to be discussing the, the drainage system, the venous system of the head and the thorax. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the drainage system of the head. Um, we're going to talk about uh, four, main, uh, four main vessels that, that drain the head. Okay, now overall there's 13 uh, dural sinuses. Um, but we're just going to discuss four major ones. The first one being the superior sagittal sinus. Okay, the superior sagittal sinus uh, drains the superior portion of the cranial cavity and the brain. And helping it out is the uh, inferior sagittal sinus. Uh, this drains a deep portion of the longitudinal fissure, um, which is the feature in the brain that basically cuts it up into two hemispheres. Uh, I want you to notice how the superior sagittal sinus and inferior sagittal sinus meet at the confluence of sinuses here. Okay. Now these two meet and they become the third main sinus that we discussed, which is the transverse sinus. Transverse sinus, <clears throat> uh, based on its location, you can kind of guess that uh, which part it drains, which is the occipital portion of the brain. Okay. And then taking a deeper look into the, uh, the cranial cavity, we see here the uh, uh, cavernous sinus, okay? This cavernous sinus uh, drains the ophthalmic veins and the orbitals, and they all come to meet and drain in the sigmoid, okay, the sigmoid sinus, okay? So all four of these main uh, veins, the superior sagittal, inferior sagittal, transverse sinus, cavernous sinus, meet at the sigmoid and drain at the internal jugular, okay? So kind of zoomed out so you can get a better perspective of it, okay? So when I zoom back in, uh, I want us to pay attention to uh, the, main, the main vessels that are uh, coming from the head. And the one that we just discussed is the internal jugular. The second one we'll discuss is the external jugular, and then thirdly is the vertebral uh, vein. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the external jugular next. So let's zoom out or zoom out a little bit to see what that external jugular actually drains. Um, it drains the occipital portion of the brain. Okay, and it also drains the temporal, the superficial aspect of the cranial cavity. Okay, so all these these veins here meet up. Oops, they meet up at the external jugular, okay? All right, now another portion of the brain, uh, of, the, of the head that the external jugular um, empties out is the facial and the maxillary uh, part of the head, okay? So you'll see how uh, these veins that go from the head and the or the face and the jaw, uh, they all meet up at the external jugular, just like your temporal vein and your um, your occipital vein. Okay. Now we did mention that there was three main veins that uh, come from the head, and that is the uh, the inter uh, intervertebral. Okay, vein. Okay, and as you can see, this kind of branches off from the occipital vein. And if we take a closer look, you can see how it goes into in through the transverse forema of the um, of the vertebrae. Okay. All right. So here again are the three main vessels that leave uh, the head and drain the head. Okay, so we're going to see you now where these vessels actually come and meet. Okay, so if you remember this particular vein that leads from the auxiliary, okay, this is the subclavian vein, and then you have your brachiocephalic vein. Okay, and then these three veins, these three veins meet here at the brachiocephalic, and then it becomes the superior vena cava that feeds the heart. Okay, so that's the superior vena cava. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to get a posterior view of the superior vena cava and we're going to take a look at the azygous vein. Okay, so the azygous vein is the main drainage system for the, uh, for the intercostal veins which I'm about to highlight right there. Okay, 
So these are the intercostal veins that go from uh, vertebrae 1 to 11. Okay, and you can see that they kind of wrap around. They wrap around into the posterior aspect. Okay, so these are the, the, uh, the right posterior intercostal veins. And they all lead into the azygous vein. Now, what I don't have shown here is the left intercostal veins, which also lead, they also lead through these veins right here, okay, your accessory veins, okay. So these veins are connected to the left intercostal veins, and they meet, here, let's de-highlight these, they meet at the azygous vein right here, okay, and they all drain into the superior vena cava, and one last thing to notice here is that uh, at vertebrae number four, the azygous vein takes a bend uh, anteriorly into the superior vena cava.